again this week, so that means this week is 90s Country Week on the Sonos Player because I have control over it. Busy day here at the Hopkins household. Um, I had to do some dishes, I had to take out the garbage, I cleaned up the downstairs. I cleaned up the living room, I cleaned up the kitchen, I cleaned up the bedroom, I cleaned up the off. I mean, it's just, it's been one of those days. I also got all the pictures from this past weekend at Detroit Gets Married, so the photo booth and the blog are live now, and now I'm sitting here watching YouTube videos. I just ate some pancakes. Yeah, I'm so happy you left me the gluten-free pancake mix because I make them and then I freeze them and then I can just eat them whenever I want. They're like the easiest meal ever. Is it really bad that eat pancakes so much and all that sugar from the syrup. Maybe I should stop. Maybe. Sam, what the hell are you doing? I was adorable today. She was hanging out outside and she literally would just not come in. So of course we played the game like we used to play when we lived um, in Warren, which I opened the door. Feta, come in. No, nothing. Okay, close the door. Open it again. Feta, come in. No, nothing. And we play this back and forth until finally she just runs up to the door whenever the hell she feels like because you know Feta is a girl and she does what she wants so there's no telling her what to do. I'm sorry I didn't end yesterday's vlog. Um, we got home, Adam got home from the bridal show that he was doing for the Detroit Photo Booth Company and we were both so exhausted from like the weekend's activities that we went upstairs watched some TV. I took a nap, apparently he packed and then we, yeah, and then we went to bed. Except because I took the nap, I had woken up, and I was unable to fall asleep, so I just laid in bed, staring at the ceiling until like 11. But when he got up this morning at like 6 to make sure that he um, got to the airport on time, I decided that I was going to get up. So around like 7.15 I got out of bed. I really hope that I can keep up the momentum of like doing things this week, because normally when Adam leaves, I get really lazy and like I don't want to do anything. But I made a list last night as the list that I made last night as I was trying to sleep um, are things that I would like to do this week, like take the dogs for a walk or finally take like an actual bath, like use the bathtub. I mean, we have like a standing shower and then a bathtub shower, whatever it's called. Um, we've yet to actually use it, so I'm going to take I hope that I can take a nice bath and use my Lush products that I've had for a while and haven't been able to use yet, so we'll see. Samson and I decided we were gonna go for a walk, so that's what we're gonna do. Sam and I are having a good time on the walk. I mean, come on, look at the sky. It's gorgeous. We're having fun, right? Huh, Sam? Yeah. So much fun. Samson, what are you doing? Come on. Just some of the potholes on our street. Can we just take a minute to look at these? Oh, hi, Fed is on a walk now. Look at how big these potholes are. This is our is finally getting the hang of this whole walking thing. It's uh, quite difficult for her to grasp that concept of I'm in charge. Good hour walk, 30 minutes with each dog. Pretty good, right? I'm on the journey to being healthy again. Maybe. I just got the most random, like, emotion come over me. So I'm texting with my niece, Jamie, out and it just, I'm texting with her and, you know, technology now is completely different from when they were born. When they were born, my brother Keith would have to, like, he would have to mail us pictures, like, actual prints in the mail of, like, them growing up and, like, we could go out to Colorado to see them or they would come here, like, every year or so. Um, and then emailing really got popular and then he would email us pictures. So watching them grow up, it's always been online. And now Jamie and Jared are at the point where like they're texting, you know, like they're 10 and 13. Like it's just, it, it's making me very emotional. So recently Jamie got an eye touch and now she's texting me, which I love. I think it's adorable. It's super cute. And now <laughs> today I just texted her and I said, hey, are you, do you watch YouTube videos? And she said, yeah, of course I do. I said, well, you should Google me on there, search for me and you can watch my videos. So I got a little emotional because not only is this like a way for like me to have fun and like get myself out there and just be myself, now Jamie, now it's like Jamie and Jared can watch the videos and like see what it's like for me here in Michigan because they get to like be with me every day. 
But I'm going to apologize right now, Jamie and Jared. Uh, don't let your mom and dad um, hear them or hear you or whatever. I swear. I'm sorry. Your, your auntie swears and she's sorry, okay? It happens. I apologize. Sorry, Keith. Sorry, Jenny. I'm sorry. Anyways, emotion done. I just got excited. Probably didn't explain myself very well, but it just makes me happy that I that they're watching these videos and now it like brings me closer to them. So I love you guys. I had a fun night. I went to some old friends of mine's house for like a girls night type of party. They had a bunch of vendors. And now magically I'm home. <laughs> It was a good night. Now I'm just gonna sit here and watch some YouTube videos and do some more planning. Yeah. So I hope you guys have a great night and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Up and out of the house early this morning. Um, I had a late night last night. Uh, apparently I get addicted to watching YouTube videos and planning. So whatever, it's fine. I'm at Sparky Noodle Bakery this morning. Uh, I am meeting a friend who lives in the area for coffee, drinks, and some yummy snacks. Hey look! It's the breakfast muffin. It's so delicious. And there's Jen. Hi Jen! I had a great little chit chat with Jen. Um, she She's a special person. I like her a lot. Um, I haven't seen her in like a freaking year though. It's, it's been so long. And it was really awesome because when I posted about me coming to Sparky Noodle for their grand opening, Jen was like, oh my god, I live right down the street from them. We should meet up. So that's what we did today. It was really nice, and I got to see Mel and hang out with her too, and it was cool seeing people come in and out of the shop. I just really like them. So go to Sparky Noodle Bakery. They have delicious things. Go now, go today. They're in West Bloomfield. Totally worth the drive if you need to drive. They got me addicted to these white cheddar corn puffs. Add it to my little list. On my way home from Sparky Noodle, I decided to stop at Trader Joe's because I have been craving some gorgonzola and some goat cheese and some crackers. And Trader Joe's has my favorite kind, so that's what I got. Plus some cheese puffs, because why not? This is what I got from Trader Joe's. This is like my favorite all-time snack slash meal. Eating it while responding to some emails is for a good afternoon. Spent the last few hours working and hanging out, hanging out with the dogs. And now Samson's been like at my feet bothering me. So I'm assuming that's because he wants to go outside. Is that what you want? Did you want to go outside? Did you want to go outside, Sam? Are you coming? You want to go outside? Come on. There you go. Go outside. Nice day. It was raining a little while ago. I wanted to go for a walk. Oh, it's still raining. Hello. I feel like I'm in my car a lot these days, and it's just going to keep getting busier and busier as the year goes on. Because I travel a lot, and I drive a lot. I'm in my car because I'm at Smash Burger. I'm gonna meet Kristen. Ooh, and she's bringing cat, I'm excited. The only cat that I like. That's a person cat, but. Kristen and I are finally gonna go over wine and cheese stuff because we've had to cancel a few times because of random life things, but can't wait to get the plan on. Got lots of, got lots of really cool ideas for this year's party. It's gonna be a good one. Hello, cat. <laughs> what do you have in your hands, huh? Who's in your hands? Thanks. Who are these people? Yeah, look at you, motorcycle rider. <laughs> so close. This is what I woke up to this morning. And you can't even look at me? How rude. What do you want? What do you want? Oh gosh, even closer. When Adam's gone, I have to remember to feed his fish. Check it out. Ooh. Hello. Hi. Hello, and sorry I haven't vlogged much today. Um, the weather is just messing with my sinuses so much. I have like the worst headache. Oh, the but I really hope that it goes away before tonight because I have a really big event that I have to photograph. So, <laughs> go away. Get better. Samson, are you like extra needy today? What's the dealio, huh? What's up? What's up with you? Can anybody see this spot in Samson's eye? I don't know. Can you see it? What is that? Right there. What is that?
Looks like a really creepy air bubble in his eye. Maybe I should take you to the vet and get that checked out. But you'd be a little freak a freak there and it doesn't seem to be bothering. I'm trying to take like a quick nap before I have to start getting ready for tonight and the stupid, stupid neighbor's alarm. I don't know if it's the house alarm. I don't know what the hell it is, but it's been going off every hour, once an hour. It is so loud. It's street behind us and I'm ready to call the cops. Someone needs to go and figure out how to stop this nonsense. Made it to downtown Detroit. First time out of the house today. Excellent. Headache finally went away. So thankful. Ugh. I don't like sinus headaches. They're kind of the worst. Oh, Detroit. That's the DIA right there. This is Scarab Club. This is the Detroit Institute of Science Center there. I love this little corner here. This is where I'm photographing tonight. This wall here, it's very famous in wedding pictures. Lots of people want to come and get photographed there. It's got like one of the biggest compliments ever. Oh my god. Okay, no one's up here. This is the upstairs of the Scarab Club. Isn't it pretty? guy that actually got me this gig tonight, he does a lot of work for the War Memorial, and he pushed my name for this event. So hopefully, we're doing a lot, doing a lot more events for this company, and that puts me out there, and I'm so excited. I just ran in, I ran into him on the steps, and he gave me a really big compliment, and now I'm like, okay, don't let you down, I got this. Look, I mean, it's Jolly Pumpkin. Sarah's here! You guys haven't met Sarah yet, I don't think. Uh, Sarah's Adam's sister. Danielle, we were at uh, Candy's house, but Sarah was not there. She got there late and I did not Snapchat you. I'm sorry, I apologize. I'm excited for Jolly Pumpkin. Yeah, I'm a creep, whatever. You know how I said I really wanted to come to Jolly Pumpkin? Well, all my food just went to the table. Korean short rib pizza. The Brussels sprout salad. This is the harvest salad. Oh, these beets is delicious. And these are the truffle fries. That's Sarah. This beautiful egg plant parmesan. Oh, zucchini parmesan. Mm. I made it home. I've already changed it into my PJs because I'm tired. Hopefully, I can actually sleep tonight. And there won't be a stupid alarm going off oh, every hour. So I'm tired. I'm going to bed. Hope you guys had a great day. I did. Jolly Pump. I had to photograph at the Scarab Club. It was a lazy day. I liked it. It was good. Thanks. Okay.